Hey guys, what's up? This is Cheesecake Films 5 coming at you with an unboxing video, and this video is from Bricklink. This is my first order from Bricklink, and this is also my first unboxing from Bricklink. And uh, just to let you know, this order is about uh, 1,000 pieces. This one that I'm about to unbox here, and I've ordered another one which is about 200 pieces. So uh, that one is also coming soon. Okay, so as you can see there, I've just unboxed it nice and kindly in a time lapse for you. And uh, they sent it in a Big Bang Theory Lego box, which is very tightly packed. Uh, let's get inside and see what I got. Okay, underneath the bubble wrapping here, I have, like I said, about a thousand pieces. More or less, uh, a lot of them are individual little pieces like this, but I've also got a few bigger, more classic pieces like this. So let's get started. So guys, this is my second package here for you. It's uh, a couple more bricks. Uh, let's get it open. Okay, so as you can see, this order is clearly not as big. I just uh, got a few more things that I thought I needed. So uh, let's get them open and see what we got. Okay, I don't actually want to open the bag, so I'll just show you what is in here. I got a couple of these window things to do just for stop motion. I can put the fill up space where bricks don't need to go. And they look better. They give it more, I don't know, texture if you want to call it that. Uh, these are some olive green cheese slopes, which are nice and mocks. And these are some dark brown cheese slopes, which are good for tanks and also mocks, I guess. And I also got some of these black 2x2 two two slants, which are good for roofing. And then uh, some of these light green leafy tree things, which are good for trees. Last but not least, I got these uh, slants in different colors. I got a couple dark gray 1x3s, a couple of dark gray 2x2s, and a couple of light gray 2x2s. So those are good for rock structures and, uh, I don't know, collapsed buildings and stuff like that. So yeah, that is that order. Okay, my first bag of pieces is 10 of these uh, cool limey turquoise green single studs. Uh, those are cool. I'll be using those in some upcoming mocks. Now, uh, I did end up getting quite a few studs, as you can see here, all these sing one by one. I got uh, 15 uh, dark gray there, I think, or darkish blue, whatever that color is called. I think I got 100 of these uh, olive green studs, which are really nice. Those are useful. I think I got about uh, 25, maybe 30 of these. Uh, sand one by ones and then 50 of these light gray one by ones and then I got 200 uh, dark tan one by ones which are going to be really really useful in open coming mocks and then I got uh, 50 maybe 60 I can't remember how many of these circle one by ones which are used for stuff like cobblestone and things like that now as far as greenery goes stuff like trees leaves stuff like that I got what I could, so the store only had a few leaves in color in different colors left. I got uh, maybe ten of these, probably a little bit less. It doesn't look like quite ten, but uh, of these olive green uh, little leaves, and then of those little leaves as well, I got maybe ten or fifteen dark red, which are good, which will look good in detailed part of mocks. I got. Uh, Maybe 10 of those dark green bigger leaves, which I already have quite a few of these, so those will just be useful more in my tree. And then I got maybe 20 of these fall type uh, brownish orange looking leaves, which are also very useful for the same kind of thing. And then these uh, plant studs, which can be used in flowers, uh, let me get the focus right up there, flowers, uh, things like that, you know, just in dirt and in between stuff. You don't actually have to put those on. They look really cool if you just kind of lay them around. Now, as far as plates go, I did only get two of these uh, six by six dark tan plates, which I guess I, I can use, but I should have probably gotten more of those. They're probably just expensive. And then I got one of these 
Uh, trap door tan plates. They came in separate bags because they're obviously separate pieces, but I did get two of those as well. For my backgrounds and some of my stop motion animations, I made, I uh, not made, I bought some of these rock looking structures and those are really useful just as backgrounds and backdrops when you don't really want to use paper, you want to have something a little more realistic and more Lego looking. So I got two of the smaller ones, the Cowboy Mountains, and then one of the bigger ones in the that's the old gray, I think. I like that color. Uh, discontinued quite a while ago. I uh, got some light gray and dark gray bricks. Both print printed on both sides. Those are really nice. Those are really useful in mocks. I picked up quite a few dark gray tiles in some different lengths and different sizes and all that kind of stuff. But those are good. Those will be useful for buildings and tanks especially. So those are good. And I got some of these 1x2... Uh, wood looking things for wood structures such as uh, log houses and things like that and then I just got some brown one by one studs for detail on mocks. Uh, here are some dark tan items. I got some 2 by 2 little plates. Those are good for detail. I got some uh, 1 by 2 plates which are even better for detail and then I got some of these little slants with 2 by 1 slants but they have the thing on the bottom so you can connect other bricks to them as well. thought those are kind of neat. I got one, uh, the, <clears throat> I don't know what these are called, but they're normal bricks which are one by one, but they're taller. I got some cheese slopes which look cool, good for detail. And then I got some two by two tiles which are good for flooring and things like that. And then, I really like these, I got uh, one by two flat kind of tiley things with the stud in the middle but the interesting part was that they did not have a stud on the bottom so those are good for inserting in the middle of buildings and stuff they look like bricks that have been uh, you know kind of fallen out I'll show you a picture of those in a second I don't know if you can see there but that little nub thing sticking out is uh, and this one here that's that tactic that's how I use it I got a couple of light tan arches a really big one and uh, two kind of smaller ones, which I could use as top of doorways. And I got some uh, gray ones as well, which are good for the same thing. For the last of my olive green stuff, I got some 1x2 uh, tiles. Not tiles, but uh, just bricks. Uh, some of these, I don't know what these are called either, but you know what they are. And uh, I got five of these... 1x2, one well, 1x1 one one bricks, and everything in my dark gray pile, everything that's left, I've got two of these, which are nice for building uh, slopes going upwards, I've got a lot of these parts, which are good for inserting tank wheels in, so those are good pieces, I'll be using those, and then I've got some tank gears, which are good for clipping in those uh, bricklink tank tracks, and I've got some clip-on uh, foldy tiles which are good for vehicles and then I've got some 2x2 two two tiles uh, bricks which are just nice for detailing and then I've got some of these reverse 1x2 bricks with the hole in the middle the reverse hole is what I mean and so you can stick things in there those are also useful for tank wheels and then I've got one of these wings and then one for the opposite side and I'm gonna use those and I'm gonna try to build a martyr and I might either use these parts for the back, and then I've got some light gray ones for the white, for the front. So those will look good. I've got some 1x4 bricks, which are also good for detailing stuff on like houses and stuff. And then these uh, slopes, which are, I don't know. But those are uh, good for going over wheels and looking like engines and stuff. So those are useful as well. And these are my last little bits, everything I just left over, so uh, I guess I ordered something with a single tile with a key in it, that's cool. I ordered a hatchet, which is actually a Lego piece from something which I have no idea it's of its origin. I ordered one of these time bomb ticking things, that'll be cool for a watch or something, I don't know, a bomb. I ordered a couple of legs because I was missing out on some dark tan legs, maybe for a couple Russian soldiers. I ordered these up slant pieces for uh, dark tan because those will be cool too you know I ordered I've never actually seen these pieces in Lego before they are uh, it's like two combined slants with a slant in the middle 
but it's not it's not like that normal one where you see the the two which are kind of wider with the pointy part in the middle. It's actually kind of got three slants, I guess, in a cool dark brown color. So that can be cool for like piles of dirt kind of overflowing. I'll probably use those in my new mock. And my last piece is this U.S. Marines uh, baseball hat. I thought I don't have any of those, and that looks cool. So. That was my order, guys. Here are all the pieces. It's kind of overflowing. They're all everywhere, but got a lot of stuff. Hope you like it. This is Cheesecake Films 05, and I will see you next time.